Welcome to Cujo Sound. Bjorn Jacobson here, and I'm about to dig deep and far into this new road of audio kinetics tool for Wise called Strata. I actually meant to do this as some sort of funny YouTube unpacking video, but along the way I realized that my experience and what I can tell you about it had very little to say actually about just that. Simply because during the installation process, it is possible to hit install, open up projects and so on, but without the correct plugins and tools also installed into Reaper, then this doesn't work as intended. So let's talk about what Strata is, what it's meant to do, and how you finally install it to enjoy it to the fullest. A quick disclaimer here, I am not officially affiliated with Audio Kinetic, nor did they pay me anything to make this video. However, I have worked a lot with them and their tools, and they asked me for my feedback on Strata, meaning that I have been given this copy of Strata so that I can give them proper feedback. And I've decided that instead of just feedback to them, why not share that with everyone who watches this channel, including that this will become hopefully a lengthy discussion about Reaper and Wise in combination, as there are plenty of tools out there, both from Audio Kinetic and other developers, especially because I'm not a Reaper user on a daily basis. Strata is Audio Kinetic's latest tool for Reaper, meant to give you the power of the provided audio libraries that you subscribe to and the ability to easily edit them, add layers, and fully export. Combined with other tools for Reaper, such as Rio Wise, which allows you to directly export as events, containers, and other things, you can do lots of cool things with this, especially if you run entire projects here. But to keep this video within reasonable time frame, let's stick to how you actually just get in Strata installed to begin with. First, you head over to audiokinetic.com forward slash n forward slash store forward slash Strata. First off, you are able to see the pricing and all the libraries included. By the time I made this video, just be aware that already by the time of this edit, there there are a couple of more libraries and some early adopter pricing offer is there so don't take numbers or libraries listed here for granted there's plenty of more on the website already than from what I'm already showing you by the time of the recording it comes with 19 libraries and 19,000 plus sounds and more than 100,000 source items Strata gives you a powerful ability to use Reaper's features such as sub projects from where you can then open up your Strata project and then edit the sub project to your liking and have this appear as just one track in your actual project this is a cool feature to learn even if you're just using Reaper and not only Strata because this allows you to create layered sounds out of layered sub projects instead of messing around with every Everything at the same time. Then you can mess around with just your SOP project, render, and it'll still work. Think about how this will work great with layered sounds, which requires to be rendered as layers into Wise with Rio Wise as an export option, such as gunshots, multi layered sounds that you can easily replace the tail of, the impact of the gunshot, and that's actually the example I'll be showing you once this is properly installed. First off, you will need to sign up for Strata on the store page mentioned before. There's a list of recommended plugins and packages for Reaper that you will need, so head over to reapack.com and download the DLL files from there. If you're on a Mac, then sorry, I don't know where to put these files. But it's really important that you place these .dll files in the correct folder, as there are several folders with the same name to what you're actually looking for. And you should probably be looking under your username folder, Roaming and Reaper. And in there you will find a folder named User Plugins. Any other path will not work. Trust me, I tried. Reapack allows you to install packages within Reaper, and these include plugins, services, and extensions that are vital to the use of Strata. Also, Reapack has tons of other things that you might want to check out now that you're at it. After this is done, we will need to download and install the SWS extension and install it. You do this over at swsextension.org. Take note that if you are a sound designer that uses Reaper for a daily work as video game sound designer, you will most likely already have Reapack, Reawise, SWS, and all that installed. But in case you don't, it's really important that you do so now because else Strata will not respond. Go into your project, select extensions from the drop down menu, and select Rio Pack. Here, we want to install Rio Wise, but notice how we cannot find it in the list of packages. So we have to go back out into Reaper, select extensions again, and import repositories. And insert this line of text into it. It's github.com forward slash audio kinetic forward slash Reaper dash tools raw main index.xml. I'll post it in the description as well. 
Now that we have done this, go back into extensions, RIA pack and open it. Type RIA wise and there you have it to import into your Reaper setup. Right click and hit install on RIA wise and you would think that it's now installed, but after this you actually have to click apply as well. Once you have done this, restart Reaper. We need all these extensions, RIA pack, RIA wise and SWS to take advantage of everything that is in Strata. Once you have restarted your Reaper session, you can go back into Extensions, select RIAWISE. This opens up RIAWISE as an exported window. Here you can select your WISE project and your Originals folder. It basically looks like the ordinary Reaper render exporter window, but here you can create WISE objects, folders, and other things. And I'll make a completely separate video about all the cool things that RIAWISE can do for you later. Open the Audio Kinetic WISE launcher, as you normally would when you open up WISE sessions and projects. On the left side, you will notice that it says Strata. Click on it. At the very top, select where you want to install the Strata projects. If you don't have a subscription, fear not, because you can download the Strata sample or one pack straight up. Be prepared that even if you have a high speed connection like mine that goes with 40 plus megabytes per second, this takes a while because the amount of data, especially if you have a subscription and need to download several of these libraries. Once you have it downloaded, you can open the location that you've set before in the launcher, select Strata Collections and the Strata 01 folder. In here you will find the Strata sample 01.rpp file which will open up your very first Strata project. With everything you need inside it and everything you need to hear from the particular library, since this is a sample project, it will just contain multiple samples of the various libraries that you can download. What you would then do with this is that you can design from here. You can double click any of the sub projects inside the project that you just opened and it will open these sub projects. Here you can edit them to your liking and then export and render again and they will appear as these rendered versions in your original Strata project. Here's an example from the historical firearms collection. What you see here is all the layers on a horizontal line. The first version that you see is the combined region of the design sound, and the rest is all the individual assets. Notice that there are two tracks. The top track is your sub project, which you can double click and it will open up set project. And here you can alter the file as much as you want and eventually render the sub project and it will occur in your Strata project with your changes. And that's the power of Strata. It gives you a library at your hands with ready-made assets for you to use and manipulate any way you want, but also comes with combinations of already designed sounds that you can export to your liking and use in your projects. Or you can easily find design sounds alter them a little bit and then use them in your projects or whatever you want. This is how you install Strata and what you can do with it basically. Now we're ready to fool around with it. I'll definitely be making more videos about how to show you how it works and really how we can dig deep into it, especially some of the issues that occur when you're actually using sub project. And that's really interesting to know because it's a really powerful tool. Thank you for watching this video about Audio Kinetic Strata. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to support this channel, consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash Cujo Sound, where you for as little as $1 a month can support me. The time it takes for me to make this content and you may even meet some like-minded people on my Discord server. This is Bjorn Jacobson signing out and I hope to see you again in one of my future videos. Goodbye.